Hi friends, it's Miss Jones. I know I haven't been posting as many videos as I usually do. Um, I've been really busy with distance learning and live teaching. Uh, I'm out here in my garden box. Sorry, my glove keeps getting in the way of my camera. Um, let me take it off here. But I have been transplanting my bigger tomato plants into my directly into my garden boxes because they're not actually thriving very well. And when I did that, I discovered, can you see her? A big fat earthworm in the bottom. And so I thought I would post this to my YouTube account because we don't see these very often in the garden uh, boxes. Um, so, or, or at school at least. So, you know, we've talked a lot about the red wigglers um, that make the vermicast. So the difference is red wigglers live above ground and they usually live like under leaves and uh, they don't burrow into the dirt. They burrow into their own vermicast when we keep them in the compost bins uh, because they are photosensitive. Now these guys, earthworms, are also photosensitive but they burrow underground. Um, they are great for the soil because they aerate the soil. So they create pockets of air around the roots. They also, just like red wigglers, they, um, they eat things and then they make waste. And that waste is a really good fertilizer. So I am, I took off my, my gloves. I'm going to pick him up very carefully here with my spade. I took off my gloves because it's actually easier for me to hold tools. Uh oh. It's actually hard to do this with one hand. Um, I'm trying to be really careful because he's really, I don't have a, any water so I don't want to pick him up with my hands because my hands are dry and his skin is moist. But I'm trying to be very, very careful. I'm trying, oh, you know what, that's not the best technique and I don't want to hurt him. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to, instead I'm going to spill him out. So I think that's actually better, um, that's a little bit more sensitive. So he's right there in the soil. And what he's gonna do is he's gonna bury himself in the soil. It's actually about six o'clock at night, which is why it's a little bit dark out here. But he's gonna go ahead and he's gonna bury himself because he's really not happy being above ground. Um, and my soil in my garden boxes is nice and loose. So it'll be easy for him to kind of get underground. And he's gonna be nice and happy here in my garden box and then my plants are going to be happy having him in here so that was pretty exciting anyway i wanted to share i will see you later navigators bye